You're most welcome to a new era of banking at GCB Bank, where there are no long queues at the bank. Because you can enjoy swift access to your account anywhere, anytime with GCB eBanking Solutions. Experience a world where you have financial convenience from a bank with integrity. A world where you can focus on your business and trust us to provide you with limitless business banking solutions that will take you to new heights. When you need a loan, sooner is better than later. So we give it to you in 24 hours to make sure the experience is memorable. Whatever you need, sir, we have an exceptional team of diverse professionals ready to serve you with a smile. Trust us with your money. We are bigger, better, safe, and ready to take you places beyond bank. GCB Bank, your bank for life. For about three years now. Since 2012. Long time, the inception. Yeah. 40 years now. For the past 10 years. 20 years. More than 10 years. Since 2019. I've been in GCB Bank for over 10 years. Since 2001. Just to continue the way you guys do, I think so far I don't have any complaints. I'm super happy with everything. We are one of the best. This is the IT world. Make you use of that more and then you, you can become the, the, the top bank in Ghana and even extend exuberance. Show more energy in whatever you do. Because you are more. Happy 70th anniversary. Happy 70th anniversary. Happy birthday, GCB. Happy anniversary, mom. 70 years ahead. Happy birthday. We show the best that all things work together for your good. Nyami mom, pantinti. Mom, I just want you to see it. Mom, 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 you know, nyami shira, mom, you must see for me now. For about three years now. If I can remember, it's more than 25 years. Long time, the inception. Yeah. I think for the past 20 years. Almost 25 good years now. 40 years now. For the past 10 years. A month now. 20 years. 20 years. More than 10 years. I can't really tell the exact years. I was 18 years. I've started with GCB. When I was in the military, I was a copra. Since 2019. I've been in GCB Bank for over 10 years. With the Hanishi Industrial Area branch, anytime I call the manager, he's ever ready to assist. I don't need to drive here. Uh, we've had many great experiences with the staff, the branch manager as well. My father got sick a while back and the branch manager and the staff reached out to us, made sure that his accounts and affairs were being taken care of. And frankly, and it's been lovely. I always get great customer service and everyone is very helpful to me, so I'm very satisfied with that. I couldn't have found a better bank to work with.
see a piscadia, now she a bread. Well, so a pain. So can you have a tag you? Oh, pack your coffee time. For Ghana Commercial Bank City Traveler Check Load. Ghana Commercial Bank City Traveler Check Load. In here, some businesses can be bought, but some is can be sold. Which means it's an appim, appimum, appimdu, medium, and medium. We get three accounts, and one is what's in. We see cashier here, yeah. Then this one. So city travelers are cashew, they will from fit my yellow look for Ghana Commercial Bank. Mouth, they do seek up a mouth. Ghana Commercial Bank travelers say, Wink my sister, Sika, here. Anka, dear, yummy. Eh? Eh? Are you there? Are you there? See, come home, fan GCB is an organization that is constantly challenging itself to be the best in class. We build client trust through constant communication with honesty and integrity. We want to build a very strong bank and one of the banks that will be the preferred banks in Africa. Goyle's operations are spread nationwide. So it is important that wherever we are operating, we have access to a bank. Most of our work operational locations use GCB as their bank of choice. With my GCB mobile banking, you know, I'm able to know if my daddy wants to send me money. When it comes, they alert me on my phone. It makes my student life easier. SMS alert. I, I used it. I don't need to check my balance anytime I go to the bank. You have someone to discuss your problems and challenges with, and my relationship manager has been there for me. GCB is a partner of choice, and as a partner of choice, we want to continue to be in this relationship into the future. GCB has been very instrumental in getting the business started with its equity position when we've had to go to them for financing and so on, they've been timely. GCB is Ghana's number one bank. Convenient and accessible. It makes life quite easy. They're welcoming and wonderful bank. Service with GCB is excellent. I feel very comfortable with GCB. This is coming from the heart. Very reliable. The need for the transformation has been driven by the feedback we've got from our customers. At the end of the day, it's what our customers actually see, and not just only see, but actually experience. We want our customers to feel very proud of the bank, see it as a customer-friendly bank, progressive and modern. In addition to that, actually be able to do business in a very friendly environment.
I won't do it, draw up. Four two two. Bay lights, bill with four two two. Send me a shopping now. Four two two. If I want send money, four two two. I won't do it, draw up. Four two two. Bay what I bill with four two two. Send me a shopping now. Four two two. Yeah, they are simple, where you're fast. There's a faster and more reliable way to do mobile money. G Money. Visit your nearest GCB branch or any branded G Money agent with a valid national ID to register now. G Money. Hapanaba. Chatum.
They are the eagle voices and they are yours for the applause. Ladies and gentlemen. And so live here in person at the Labadi Beach Hotel on television, on radio, online and in print. It is GCB at 70, 70 years of being truly Ghanaian. Let's put our hands together and celebrate this glorious day that the Lord has made. My name is Ajololo. It has fallen to me this morning on behalf of the MD, the board chair, and the entire board management and staff to welcome you all. Shortly, we'll be receiving our miss, the gift of the occasion, the official entourage, and then we shall begin in full flight. Right now, I think all is set for us to receive the gift of our occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Ghana's Minister for Finance and his entourage. A round of applause as they come. Let it be warm and heartfelt. Let's remain standing as we invoke the presence and the blessings of God Almighty as we receive the Reverend Isaac Hammond for this morning's invocation. To God be the glory Grace is he has done so lovely the world that he gave us his son who yield that his life and atonement for sin and open the life gate that all may Praise the Lord. Yeah, his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he has. Oh, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great saints. Please let us pray. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory for all the great things, Lord, you have done. As a bank, we are remembering our humble beginnings some 70 years back. Where the bank has been a source of financial solutions to Mother Ghana and the whole worldwide. 70 years is a lot of years. And it has taken your grace and your mercies, Lord, to do all that. So we have come back to say thank you and to say that it has been you, not us. We thank you so much, Lord, for this day. And we are asking your presence to be with us as we launch and also go through the lineup of activities we pray that, Lord, your presence will walk us through. At the end of it all, we would give glory to you. 
And our expectation is that our bank will move to greater heights to your glory. We are giving special thanks to our nation, Ghana, the way you have sustained and kept us in the midst of our turbulence. We thank you for our board. We thank you for our management. We thank you for the staff. We thank you for customers who are so dear to the bank. We thank you for the businesses that we run. And we thank you for everything that we do. We know that in coming to thank you, you open wider doors even for the bank. And we will give glory to you. We thank you this morning for accepting our prayer. Because we have prayed in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please let us be seated. And many thanks to you, the Reverend Isaac Hammond. Ladies and gentlemen, you may please download the G-Money app and give your offering for the morning. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a breath of fresh air, the Eagle Voices.
a marvelous journey of God's grace and mercy have brought us thus far. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eagle Voices. Another round of applause. If I may borrow from the great Barack Obama, I would ask this morning, is there anyone amongst us or joining us live on television, radio, or online who still doubts that Ghana is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our forefathers is alive in our time to build an indigenous financial powerhouse, who still questions the power of our banking sector to deliver relevant and unrivaled financial solutions to individuals, SMEs, private and public sector entities, no matter the economic circumstance or social climate, this morning is your answer. It is GCB Bank at 70, 70 years of being truly Ghanaian, providing unrivaled financial solutions toward the socio-economic development of Ghana. Truly, your bank for life. Put your hands together and let's celebrate this great heritage brand. Oh, is that all you can do this morning? My name is Jerry Ajololo. It has fallen to me so delightfully this morning on behalf of our chief celebrant, our host, the managing director, Mr. Kofi Adumako, the board chair, Mr. Jude Arthur, the members of the board, management, and staff of this great heritage brand, to say good morning to you, our guest of honor, our keynote speaker, the Minister for Finance, the Honorable Ken Oforiata, your deputy, the Honorable Abna Jose Asari, MP, the first deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Maxwell Obuko Fari, the second deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana, Mrs. Elsie Aduawaji, the chief of naval staff, Rear Admiral Easter Adam Yakubo, the inspector general of police, who is represented by the director general of the MTTD, COP FEE Doku, the GRA Commissioner General, Dr. Amishadai Ousu Amoa, the Director General of SNIT, Dr. John Ufuri Tinkran, the CEO of GIPS, Mr. Archie Hesse, the CEO of the Ghana Stock Exchange, Madam Abna Amoa, former Managing Directors, Madam Helen Loko, Mr. A. A. Tano, and Mr. Simon Dono, together with MDs of banks and non financial institutions, key MMDAs and SOEs members of our security services, captains of industry, traditional and religious authorities, our partners, subsidiary heads, our customers from retail, commercial, and corporate, our shareholders, retired directors of the board, retired management and retired staff, union leaders, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this awe-inspiring story, our story of resilience, relevance, and trust, which has for the past 70 years delivered social and solid performance for all our stakeholders for the past seven decades. Let today count as the beginning of a new story for our bank, as the bank for life. Today is a celebration of all that has gone into making this great brand a heritage brand in Ghana. We shall relive the past, we shall understand the present, but most importantly, we shall paint to you a glorious future that awaits this brand. Here to welcome us warmly, ladies and gentlemen, is a man whose appointment came as a major milestone in the bank's transformation agenda to become a proactive, world-class bank. What he has done remains a sign and a wonder. Today, it is my pleasure and great delight to give to you a man who is bold, ambitious, firm believer in pushing the frontiers and the boundaries of our bank, but most importantly, building indigenous business champions is yours and mine. Mr. Kofi Adumako. And for those of you who do not know the Eagle Choir, this is a GCB Choir. Yeah. 
we don't only do financial transactions, but we know how to calm the nerves and worship our Creator. So, a very good morning to you all. Uh, Jerry, thank you for establishing uh, uh, the protocols. Uh, because I had, an, I had another very long list I was going to go through. I'll stand on existing protocols. Okay. The only other one I would like to add uh, with your permission, is that my wife is here. And uh, she didn't tell me she was coming here. But this morning, she says she's never seen me a bit ruffled, um, not very calm, going to work in the morning. So I said to, um, I have this program, and I'm thinking of too many things at the same time. And I was listening to the radio on Joy FM, they were talking about the banking industry and Bank of Ghana issues. And I was saying, where is all of this going? And she said, oh, have a good day. Huh? Uh, 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 um, I see you are ruffled, but it, you, you'll be fine. Only to see her walk into uh, the holding room. And I think I'm very fine. So Linda, thank you. Thank you for coming. A very good Wednesday morning to all of you. I am tasked in performing a very simple duty, which can actually be done in one minute, by welcoming you all to the Platinum Jubilee Anniversary launch of GCB Bank's year-long celebration, themed 70 years of providing unrivaled solutions towards the socio-economic development of Ghana. However, on this occasion, permit me to say a few words so that if for nothing at all, when the history is written of the 70th anniversary lunch, I would have featured at least for more than one minute. Your honorable minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely delighted to have you all here today and welcome you all from the bottom of my heart to the launch of our Platinum Jubilee anniversary celebrations of this great bank. I am even more excited and privileged to be the Platinum MD at this time when our country and the sector is going through some key challenges. Not only for the fact that we are achieved a milestone, but more importantly, for the honor and opportunity to lead GCB Bank at a defining and special time in our economy. I am extremely grateful to my board of directors, management and staff, in particular, of the bank for all the support they have lent me over the last two years. I do sincerely acknowledge that. I must quickly add that this is also a celebration for the entire banking industry. The regulators, including the Bank of Ghana, the Securities and Exchange Commission, and the Ghana Stock Exchange. For there is a lot to celebrate in bringing GCB this far. Allow me to take you back to the genesis of our history in 1951. Osadjefo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, serving as the head of government business in the Gold Coast, recognized the challenges encountered by indigenous businesses in assessing banking services, for the, um, banking services from the existing colonial banks at the time Barclays Bank, and the British Bank of West Africa. Other influential stakeholders supported the call for establishing a new bank dedicated to providing banking services to indigenous Ghanaian businesses and building the required human resource capital for a would-be thriving banking industry. On May 20, 1953, Bank 
of the Gold Coast commenced operations under the mandate of the Bank of the Gold, of the Bank of Gold Coast Ordinance. This was at a time when plans were underway for placing the Gold Coast on the global political map. So did our forefathers also think about placing this country on the economic map by spearheading the agenda for setting up a bank that would rival the existing colonial banks. It may today appear to have been a simple matter of applying for a banking license, but to motivate the idea of establishment of an indigenous bank at the time went through many robust debates, almost equal to the cases argued for the independence of the Gold Coast. On this occasion, let me on behalf of the board, management and staff of GCB Bank, thank our forefathers and the founding board and management for nurturing this seed, which has grown into the GCB Bank PLC after 70 bold years of providing unrivaled financial solutions towards socio-economic development of Ghana. So GCB Bank was born as a Ghanaian bank for the people and led by Ghanaians with a single-minded purpose to economically and financially liberate Ghanaians and individual businesses. In the last seven decades, GCB has done just that in promoting Ghanaian state institutions, industries, and the private sector, from the cocoa industry to the oil and gas sector. We have supported state organizations like the Tema Oil Refinery, the Electricity Company of Ghana, Volta River Authority, and the Ghana Water Company, and many more during times of economic uncertainty and growth. And GCB has shown great character and resilience. We have many times stepped up to the plate and intervened in the banking sector in many critical situations to help our economy plod along when it mattered most. And we have grown the private sector, particularly in the, in the, particularly in the industry, agriculture, and services sectors. Today, we are seeking to show more of that resilience in our ability to grow African champions in our country by supporting Ghanaian businesses to explore beyond the shores of Ghana or attract Ghanaian products and services out of Ghana. The likes of Casapreco, PMMC, Blue Skies, Niche Coco, Star Oil, and the Safari Valley Resort, and many more corporates and SMEs are on the verge of attaining commanding heights due to their intentional and deliberate support in finance and governance GCB is providing them. And we must not take this for granted, knowing that only and only Ghanaians will build Ghana. Over the years, we have also strategically increased our investment in the retail business in tandem with the growth in disposable incomes of, individual, of individuals. Through our innovative digital channels, we successfully cater for our discerning retail customers and will continue to do so. So for the second time today, I welcome you all to our 70th anniversary and back to the promised bank, GCB PLC. The bank is a partnership between government and the private sector. GCB has always had government ownership since its inception. Today, it also has private ownership and is listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange. The intention to bring private ownership into the bank was voiced as far back as October 1952, when the debate on establishing the bank of the Gold Coast 
took place at the Gold Coast Le Legislative Assembly. At the time, the likes of me, Kwabna Boni III, argued in favor of private shareholders. As this, he said, would make the institution a people's bank. This was eventually fulfilled in 1996 when GCB was listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange. And as our great leader, Osajifo, again said, those who will judge us merely by the heights we have achieved will do well to remember the depth from which we started. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we ought to be very proud of our 70th anniversary celebration of GCB Bank, as it remains the only public-private partnership type of firm that has chalked this success. And this is evidence that it can be done. GCB is from an ownership perspective a PPP between government of Ghana and the private sector and has remained extremely valuable to its shareholders even in times of economic downturn. We should, we should put our minds to it and believe in ourselves for if we have done it with GCB, then we can replicate this model and succeed in many other sectors in our economy. We must remain resilient and believe in ourselves and our customers, our staff, and by making the right choices, we will attain the results that we all expect. There is a good reason why GCB remains Ghana foremost bank and most successful PPP. Let's learn from it. Let's support it. And even deepen this experience within the Ghanaian business fabric. Let's preserve GCB as the legacy we build for Ghana in the banking and finance sector. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we follow the footprints of our African champions underpinned with a one market agenda for the continent. GCB will have to revisit its strategy of sojourning beyond the shores of Ghana, as we did in the UK and the Republic of Togo in 1959 and 1971, respectively. GCB will have to consider a regional and pan-African bank role in meeting the needs of its customers. Over the next few years, as we soldier on to attaining a century of banking, our strong and expansive branch network will complement our digital channels and our digital agenda in providing unparalleled services to our communities and retail clients. We will further deepen our environmental social and corporate governance, governance risk compliance, and our corporate social responsibility agenda as we look forward to building this great national asset of rich Ghanaian heritage. We will compete at all levels of banking and win in all our chosen markets because we are authentically Ghanaian and understand our people's needs best. For it is just a matter of time, and Africa will be left for Africans to build, to operate, and to own. And GCB must be at the helm of affairs. So again, and for the third time, I invite you all, beautiful people, and welcome you to the 70th anniversary of the Promised Bank. GCB Bank PLC. Welcome and welcome back home where you belong. As we reflect on the economy, on economic challenges Ghana has encountered over the past 70 years, GCB Bank has been there every step of the journey, providing stability, support. Undoubtedly, the domestic debt exchange program has had a profound impact on the bank. 
And though there are signs of an early recovery evidenced by the first half results, the aftershocks of the domestic debt exchange program remain fairly strong. And GCB is taking the necessary measures to minimize the adverse impact. We remain hopeful and very optimistic about the recovery of the sector, given the results posted so far. The bank's shareholders have exhibited their support and commitment, and we should be going to the capital market to raise one billion cities to shore up our capital, which was impacted by the domestic debt exchange program. This will enable the bank to continue supporting Ghanaian industry and commerce per our establishment mandate and operate effectively. We keep evolving and are still committed to our vision of being the leading bank in all markets. Our employees are our greatest assets and remain the core of our resilience and success. We will continue to invest in developing talent and provide proper leadership, exposure and opportunity to grow them, for it is our people who have brought the bank this far and will take us into the future. Our platinum celebrations, honorable minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, are going to run through the rest of the year with many more activities, including health walks, corporate social responsibility programs, thought leadership events, and the climax and awards and gala night. Please heed our clarion call and participate fully in any or all of these events. And let's celebrate this great Ghanaian asset together. Once again and finally, for the fourth time, I, on behalf of the board and management of staff of GCB Bank, welcome you home to the Promised Bank. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming and enjoy the lunch. Let's celebrate a leader of tremendous progress, Mr. Kofi Adumako. And I believe the board, together with all the shareholders, will feel vindicated in their choice of such an efficient and effective managing director. Please, one more time, a round of applause. Thank you for that warm note of welcome. Although you were like the Apostle Paul, you say, finally, brethren, and you tried three more chapters. We'll take that in good faith. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, what we've witnessed is as a result of effective leadership on the part of management. I would like to acknowledge, ladies and gentlemen, those who assist our managing director in executing his mandate and delivering on the expectations of all our stakeholders. The head corporate banking, Mr. Lenus Kumi. The head human resource, Mr. Henry Nana Kwabna Yabua, please stand. Help me acknowledge Mr. Jesse Jacinto, head legal. The chief internal auditor, Sina Kumagate. Our chief compliance officer, Benjamin Che Amonu. Chief Risk Officer, Theophilus Ayete Ajin Ayi. Chief Digital and Marketing Officer, Eric Abeku Kofi. Our Executive Head, Retail Banking, John Adama. Executive Director, Wholesale and Investments, Samuel Kwame Yedu Edu. Our Deputy Managing Director, Operations, Mr. Emmanuel Odati Lamte. And for good reasons, attending to other duties, our other Deputy Managing Director, Finance, Mr. Socrates Afram. Let's see the entire team rise. Ladies and gentlemen, we are yours for the applause. It was for you the word teamwork was created, and we thank you ever so much for laboring with our managing director. It is now my pleasure to acknowledge the official deputy managing director of our bank. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Linda Adumako, wife of our MD. This morning, we want to relive the past to understand the present and to chart a course which is beneficial to all of us for the future. For the next few minutes, please lend your attention to the screen for a video. There is a new African in the world. 
In the story of Ghana's journey towards independence, one institution played a vital role by offering financial services, supporting national development and at its inception, also serving as the central bank. That institution is what we now know as GCB Bank PLC. Established in May 1953 as the Bank of the Gold Coast, the bank's primary objective was to provide banking services to indigenous businesses. The bank was wholly owned by the government and was the bank through which civil servants and public servants were paid. Ghana Commercial Bank, as it later came to be known, also served as the bank for most state-owned enterprises and corporations. From its establishment in 1953 to the current day, GCB Bank has been an enduring symbol of financial security and growth in Ghana. It has lived up to its promise of being your bank for life and will continue to do so in the years to come. This year, 2023, GCB celebrates its 70th anniversary. From its humble beginnings with only 27 employees, GCB Bank has grown into a formidable institution with over 185 branches nationwide, 340 ATMs and 9 agencies. GCB employs a workforce of more than 4,000 staff. At the heart of the story are the pioneering employees from GCB Bank's early days. These pioneers of GCB Bank have witnessed the bank's remarkable growth and evolution. They have been instrumental in shaping the bank's culture and fostering its commitment to excellence. In 1996, GCB Bank made a significant move when the bank listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange and government divested itself of part of its shareholding in the bank, marking a watershed in its history. Today, government ownership stands at 21.36%, while institutional and individual holdings add up to 78.64%. Many shareholders can testify to the resilience of the bank and the value they have gained by investing in GCB. In 2014, Ghana Commercial Bank Limited rebranded, changing its name to GCB Bank and solidifying its position as the first and largest indigenous bank in Ghana. Over the years, GCB Bank has evolved and expanded, but its commitment to customers and the wider community remains steadfast. The bank has fully embraced digitalization and innovation to respond to the needs of today's customers. GCB has deployed many innovative products that improve customer experiences and meet their needs. Some of these are mobile banking, internet banking, and of course, the groundbreaking G-Money. Many GCB customers today testify to the superior service they enjoy from the bank, a GCB that is modern, fast, and efficient. The bank's commitment to customer satisfaction is unwavering. The bank understands the unique needs of each client, tailoring its services to meet their specific requirements. It is this dedication that has earned the trust and loyalty of its diverse client base. GCB Bank serves all segments of society and this is evident in its diverse clientele, from the youth to business people, from small-scale entrepreneurs to large corporations, and from market women to corporate professionals, GCB Bank touches the lives of all Ghanaians. GCB continues to grow and expand and along with its growth, it has also transformed and entered various businesses to complement its core banking services. One of such subsidiary is GCB Capital Ghana Limited. GCB Capital is the investment banking subsidiary of GCB Bank. It was established in 2018 to provide investment banking services to corporate and institutional clients. Another subsidiary is G Money. GCB was the first bank in Ghana to offer mobile money services. G Money operates an interoperable and telco agnostic mobile money service. It allows customers to transfer funds, make payments, as well as perform other financial transactions on their mobile phones. Throughout its 70 years existence, GCB has weathered the inevitable storms in a business's life. 
the bank's resilience has always come to the fore, inspired by its totem, the ego. Like the ego, GCB Bank scans the horizon for opportunities and takes advantage of them. GCB Bank's sterling performance as a business also stems from good corporate oversight by the management and board of the bank. Governance of the bank is spearheaded by a talented and skilled 13-member board made up of individuals from diverse backgrounds. GCB Bank's commitment to sound governance is further reinforced by strong regulatory oversight from the Bank of Ghana, the country's central bank. Led by its board, GCB Bank aims to soar into dominance of the banking industry. In 2021, it embarked on another journey of business transformation with a three-pronged strategy as its guiding pillars. This strategy encompasses revenue growth and profitability, operational excellence, and people and talent. The bank intends to grow its revenue, improve operational efficiency, and build high-performing teams of employees committed to delivering customer satisfaction. The dedication and deep institutional knowledge of GCB staff has been an invaluable asset to GCB Bank. The unified workforce has been a guiding light for newer generations of employees, sharing their wisdom and passion for delivering exceptional service. GCB is a bank that believes in giving back to society and investing in communities. The bank's corporate social responsibility activities are anchored in three main sectors, education, health, and the economy. The bank has been instrumental in the life of institutions such as University of Health and Allied Sciences at Ho in the Volta region, being the institution that gave seed money for the university to be established. It also built a brand new hostel for it. The University of Environment and Sustainable Development at Somanya in the eastern region has also benefited from the corporate social investment activities of GCB. The bank has also built many school infrastructure in various parts of the country. The bank also believes that a healthy nation is a productive nation and as such the bank has supported many healthcare initiatives, put up or renovated health infrastructure and provided medical equipment. One of its notable investments is the provision of support as the biggest donor to broadcaster Kwame Safakai's Kokoko Charities Project 100, which seeks to provide incubators for hospitals and health facilities across the country. In the economy, GCB has been at the forefront of supporting economic development. During the recent COVID-19 pandemic, GCB gave a lot of support to the state's initiatives and to businesses to cushion them from the impact of the pandemic. At GCB, customer service is a top priority and the bank employs social media channels to engage with its clients and the public. The bank has been ranked on the Social Media Power 100 rankings, one of the prestigious rankings of global companies that use social media effectively. The bank was ranked 83rd worldwide for using social media to promote retail banking. As GCB embraces the digital era, it remains committed to providing more efficient banking services that meet the needs of today's customers. As GCB embraces the digital era, it remains committed to providing more efficient banking services that meet the needs of today's customers. The digital services like G-Money and Internet Banking are transforming the way the bank's customers manage their finances, making banking simpler faster and more accessible. With the guidance of the board, management and dedicated staff, and the collective efforts of all employees, GCB Bank is poised to achieve even greater milestones in the years ahead. The future is bright for GCB Bank, and with its commitment to excellence, strong governance and leadership, regulatory adherence and investment in employees, GCB Bank will continue to serve its customers and the nation with unwavering dedication for continued growth and success. So come along as we go into our next phase in providing unrivaled financial solutions that promises to revolutionize the banking landscape of Ghana and the sub-region. Come along with GCB 
your bank for life. And such an amazing story only points to one thing, direction and strategy, which is why the board of GCB is to be greatly thanked for their immense contribution, their energetic efforts all through the years. Allow me to acknowledge the secretary to the board, Ama Ajiman Kusi Apo, a round of applause. The Honorable Dr. Stephen Amwa is a director of the board. Mr. Daniel Chinibua Esrifi is a proud member of our board. We make welcome Alhaji Alhassan Yakubu. Mr. Osmani Aludiba Ayuba is a proud member of our board. Let's make welcome Mr. Francis Arthur Collins. Mrs. Lydia Essa is also a proud member of our board. Nana Ama Ayinswa Sarah the third is a proud member of our board. Thank you, Mum. We make welcome Mr. Emmanuel Ray Ankra, a director of our board. Thank you very much. And here to speak to us is a man who provides the ultimate direction as the board chair. He is referred to as the bankers banker, a fount of great knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Mr. Jude Arthur. Um, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. May I stand on all existing protocols? And um, uh, first of all, like the MD, to also acknowledge Mrs. Linda Adomako, who was not in the initial protocols. I think Kofi will recall that when we met this morning and I saw his wife, I said to him, but Kofi, you didn't tell us we could come along with our spouses, you know. But I, I've learned that, Madam, the initiative was your own. Welcome. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, let me express my appreciation to you all, our distinguished guests, for finding time to honor our invitation to this event. Today, we gather here to launch the 70th anniversary of GCB Bank and celebrate a 70-year journey of service to our clients, our shareholders, and all our other stakeholders. Before I go on, let me first and foremost recognize the founding fathers of GCB, whose vision and labor laid the groundwork for the formation of this bank. It is their vision, combined with the invaluable guidance of successive boards, that has propelled GCD to its current heights. The bank would not have made this progress without their foresight, sacrifice, and dedication. Let me also recognize the leadership and commitment of all previous boards, past management teams and staff that have enabled GCB to become the iconic bank it is today, the bank that is referred to as your bank for life. I salute our esteemed retired and former members of staff who dedicated their lives and energy to building GCB Bank into an enviable and formidable institution in the history of our country. Your tireless efforts and dedication to our institution have been instrumental in its success. We owe you a debt of gratitude, one that can never truly be repaid. I would like 
now to recognize the current directors of the bank, the current management team and staff of the bank for a job well done. Together, as leaders and players in the financial sector, our actions have been underpinned by the transformative role we play to create a better future for generations to come. Honorable Minister, our remarkable journey began on the 20th of May, 1953 with a vision to serve and empower the indigenous traders, business people, and farmers of our great nation. This journey began with a clear commitment to meet the financial and banking needs of the country, among other objectives. At the onset, the bank was wholly government-owned until 1996, when under the Economic Recovery Program, part of government's holdings was divested. Today, government's ownership stands at 21.3%. The dilution of the government's interest in the bank when the bank was listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange in 1996 had a significant impact on the growth of GCB. Even after the divestiture of part of government's holdings, GCB remained unwavering in its support for Ghana's socio-economic development. This has underpinned its service to our stakeholders. Our unrivaled footprints across the country, demonstrated by our extensive branch network, supports the clients and communities we serve. Today, the bank has grown to a network of over 185 branches across all 16 regions of Ghana, starting from seven branches in 1960. This expansive reach is testament to our relentless commitment and determination to fulfill the banking needs of the people of Ghana and lead the development of our country as the foremost and largest indigenous bank. We have a proven track record of delivering convenient, accessible, superior, and customized banking solutions, as well as strong profits and return to our shareholders. Over the last seven decades, GCB Bank PLC has delivered strong growth and a sterling track record of creating value for its shareholders. The bank's competitive position has continually improved and it remains a leading bank with significant potential for further sustainable growth. Our growing client base and the trust and loyalty of our cherished customers, our unrivaled branch network complemented by our digital offerings and a dedicated staff have always ignited a renewed confidence in realizing our ambition to dominate the market in a competitive business environment. As we celebrate this key milestone, we are confident that the investment we are making in leadership and talent development and digital transformation and operational resilience and customer experience will only strengthen the position of our bank. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we stand on the threshold of a new banking era. We are particularly mindful of the Bank of Ghana's guidelines on sustainable banking principles. GCB Bank embraces the boundless opportunities that lie ahead. The banking world is evolving at an unprecedented pace driven not only by advances in technology and digitalization, but also the growing importance of sustainable banking principles. We recognize that embracing these changes is not just vital, it is imperative for our continued growth and success. At GCB, our commitment extends beyond financial excellence. We recognize our immense responsibility to the broader community 
and the positive impact we create for our environment. Through our ESG framework and policies that incorporates the BOG guidelines on sustainable banking principles and recognizes collaboration with government, businesses, and all other stakeholders, we shall pursue our shared goals of creating a greener world. GCB Bank has significantly invested in developing a sound ESG framework and in cutting edge IT infrastructure, enabling us to enhance operational efficiency and deliver innovative solutions to our valued customers. By leveraging the power of technology, we remain at the forefront of a digital revolution, driving convenience, accessibility, and personalized banking experience. Our strategic pillars of revenue growth and profitability, operational excellence, and people and talent management continue to guide our pursuit of long-term sustainability and success. We are committed to nurturing and developing a workforce equipped with the skills and knowledge to navigate the challenges of a rapidly changing world. Our goal is to empower management and staff to unleash their potential, drive innovation, and foster a culture of excellence in our operations. Ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude my remarks and look forward into the future, I am truly filled with a deep sense of optimism and a strong belief in GCB Bank's ability to navigate the changing bank banking landscape and the challenges that it presents. As leaders in the financial sector, it is clear to us that we embrace the paradigm shift towards sustainable finance. Accordingly, as we move forward in our journey, we must focus on the critical issues that shape our future and foster a culture that values ESG and integrates them into our decision-making processes and our overall business model. To this end, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is our task, the present generation, to develop an agenda that over the next 30 years, when GCB celebrates its centenary, it will, it will be established as the bank that is leading in all our markets, one that is recognized for its pivotal role in shaping a more sustainable and inclusive future. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to everyone here. Your continued support have driven our success. Let us celebrate this memorable milestone. And with renewed vigor, let us forge ahead towards a future filled with infinite possibilities, seizing every opportunity to create enduring value for all. Thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. And may our journey continue to be one of unprecedented achievements and shared prosperity. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, can it be warmer? We thank you ever so much, Mr. Jude Arthur, our board chair, for that very inspiring address. Yours has been a wonderful relay from the managing director welcoming us, outlining the present, and you giving us a solid picture of the future. You call us to join efforts at ensuring that we provide a more sustainable future, one that will provide value for all our stakeholders. This morning, we acknowledge the untiring and energy and, 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 and Calm down, you can do this, calm down. Be like the eagle. We acknowledge the untiring and energetic efforts of many broad stakeholders like the legendary Ni Kwabna Boni, 
as mentioned by our managing director, which is why we're delighted this morning to receive a representative of the Gamanche, His Royal Majesty King Takite Kochuru, who is unable to join us because of other duties. However, we're joined by the Abola Manche, Ni Ahene Nunu III. Please make him welcome with a round of applause. Thank you. In the same vein, we receive a justice chief of staff, I beg your pardon, to the Gamanche, Justice Na Yale Amoa. Thank you very much. A representative of the Director General of Ghana Prisons, who is in a capacity the Director of Prisons in charge of service, Lawyer Patience Bafo Boni. A round of applause for Madame. Thank you for joining us. With great delight to receive the Deputy Chief Fire Officer, Fanny Sampson, representing the Chief Fire Officer. Thank you very much, Madame, for joining us. Ah. Great weather. This is where we sing one song together. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Let's go. I can see all obstacles in my way. Here is the rainbow we've been praying for. For the eagle. And we all sing. It's going to be. Please don't try this again. Give it up for the eagles as they give us a delight in music. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause.
amazing the evergreen eagle voices ladies and gentlemen a round of applause thank you ever so much so soothing was the music that the secretary general of the TUC just sent me a message that because of this they will not strike for a year dr. Yaoban joins us a round of applause for him we acknowledge with immense gratitude a celebrated statesman a legal luminary ladies and gentlemen and a traditional ruler par excellence. You know him as Professor Nana SKB Asante. I give to you the Mahene of Asante Sokore, Nana Susuribi Krobia Asante. <laughs> Nana Yamawa Kwaba. Thank you. Banking in Ghana is no longer where you go. It is what you do, thanks to the visionary leadership of the Bank of Ghana. Here to join us with great solidarity is the sec first Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, speaking on behalf of the Governor. Would you please make welcome Dr. Maxwell Opokwa Fire. Good morning. I bring you greetings from the Governor who would have wanted to be here but because of other engagements, he couldn't make it. So I'm speaking on his behalf. Uh, and I will also stand on the protocols that have been established so that I can go straight to the speech. Honorable Minister, I thank you and I thank GCB for the kind invitation to join you today at this grand lunch of the GCB Bank's 70th anniversary celebrations under the theme 70 years of providing unrivaled financial solutions towards socioeconomic development in Ghana. It is indeed a joyous occasion, and over the past seven decades, GCB Bank has stood out as a strong indigenous bank, rendering invaluable financial services to this country. Established as the Bank of the Gold Coast in 1953, GCB Bank has, over the past 70 years, expanded organically and now provides top-notch electronic banking services and products that are unique, reliable, and convenient to customers. More importantly, these value-added services have supported Ghana's broader agenda of financial deepening and inclusion. Today, as we chronicle the key achievements of GCB Bank, Mr. Chairman, let, let us appreciate the founding fathers of the bank, the past and the current management and staff of GCB Bank PLC for their sense of duty, commitment, and dedication that has brought the bank this far. 
Indeed, GCB Bank has played significant roles in promoting the socioeconomic development of the country Ghana. At various points in this nation's history, the bank has been called to action to help with solutions during economic challenges that confronted the nation. Suffice it to say that over the last seven decades of its existence, the GCB Bank PLC has delivered on its mandate of supporting government as well as indigenous private enterprises. Honorable Minister, over the period of its existence, GCB Bank has surmounted significant challenges. Rebranded from Ghana Commercial Bank to a new image of GCB Bank and with resilience maintain its position as a leader in the competitive banking environment. These positive developments have accompanied by strong financial performance, especially in asset growth and deposit mobilization. In 2017, when the financial sector cleanup exercise was underway, GCB Bank acquired selected assets and liabilities of two indigenous banks and expanded its branch network and ATMs to over 185 and 340, respectively, to continue being the most dominant player in Ghana's banking industry. Now a little bit of history. Ladies and gentlemen, GCB Bank in its, is indeed the oldest indigenous bank in Ghana. Its establishment dates back to 1947, when there were proposals from leading politicians in the then Gold Coast for the establishment of a national bank with central banking functions. In 1949, a select committee of the Legislative Assembly was appointed to investigate the establishment of a national bank with purely central banking functions. In 1951, the government appointed Sir Cecil Trevor to examine the question of setting up a national bank on commercial lines to finance development projects and to act as a reserve bank and to provide clearing house functions for the country. Based on his recommendation, a state-owned commercial bank was established in 1952 by the Bank of Gold Coast Ordinance. The new bank, which was named the Bank of the Gold Coast, now GCB Bank, started operations in 1953. In 1953, the Bank of the Gold Coast was set up by the government and headed by Alfred Eggleston, formerly of the Bank of England. Eventually, the bank was split into two, the Bank of Ghana operating as a bank of issue to be developed into a complete central bank, and the Com Ghana Commercial Bank to, de to be developed into a largest commercial bank with a monopoly on the accounts of public corporations. GCB Bank, then the Bank of the Gold Coast, started operations with 27 employees. Initially, it focused on serving Ghanaian traders, farmers, and business people who could not obtain financing from the expatriate banks. In July 1957, after Ghana gained independence, Alfred Engelstein was appointed as the first governor of the Bank of Ghana. As expected, the Bank of Ghana took over the management of the currency in July 1958, issued its first national currency, the CD, to replace the old West African currency notes. The Bank of the Gold Coast was rebranded to the Ghana Commercial Bank after Ghana attained independence. The bank assumed the role and functions of government bankers and began to take over the finances of most commercial departments and public corporations. The bank was wholly owned by the government of Ghana. However, in 1996, when government shareholding stood at 51.17%, the shares of the bank was listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange. Currently, government ownership stands at 21.36%, while institutional individual holdings are up to 78.64%. In 2013, the bank renamed itself GCB Bank Limited with a new brand identity, which was launched at the end of 2014. Today, GCB Bank Limited serves the banking needs of large corporations, parastatal companies, small and medium enterprises, as well as individuals. From the one branch of the 1950s, GCB Bank now has over 150 branches 
and 11 agencies throughout the country. The bank posted a return on equity of 21.7% in 2022, despite the challenging macroeconomic environment. Additionally, the bank's loans and advances posted a balance of 5.7 billion Ghana cities, representing 9.4% share of the total loans and advances market. Indeed, as at the end of May 2023, the bank's share of loans and advances stood at 10.4%, making GCB Bank the second largest issuer of loans and advances to the public and private sectors of the Ghanaian economy. On loans to household, GCB Bank came first with a share of 18.6% of total household loans granted by the banking industry as at the end of May 2023. Thus, the bank does not only provide financial intermediation to benefit households, but also supports government with a share of 12.1% of the industry's total net investment in government securities at the end of May 2023. Concerning safety, soundness, and resilience, GCB Bank compares favorably with the banking industry's average, given its size and the level of financial intermediation. The bank's capital adequacy ratio stood at 17% as of May 2023, well above the regulatory prudential minimum of 10% and above the industry's average of 14.6%. It is of little surprise. Please, you can clap. It is of little surprise that GCB Bank is rated Ghana's safest bank by Moody's, Fitch, and Standard, Standards and Poor's. and the most compliant bank in Africa by the Association for Certified Compliance Professionals in Africa. It is also refreshing to know that GCB Bank has taken cybersecurity issues very seriously with some major milestones. These include being the first financial institution in Ghana with a security operations center, SOC, to become a full member of the Forum for Incident Response and Security Teams. The bank has also successfully deployed a world-class SOC running on 24-7 basis, successfully integrated into the bank's SOC with the Bank of Ghana SOC, and finally acquired ISO 27001 and PCI DSS certifications. In the drive towards innovation, GCB Bank launched Ghana's first bank-led mobile money service, that is the G-Money, which, which currently serves more than 2.7 million customers with services such as money transfer, bill payments, etc. All these tries have earned the bank recognition, including being adjudged the top financial services firm at the 2022 Ghana Club 100 Awards. The bank ran first in the banking sector and 10th in the list of 100 top most prestigious companies in Ghana. Although GCB Bank placed 10th in the overall 100 best companies operating in Ghana at the end of 2022, it was the only bank and the financial institution among the first 10 best companies in Ghana. We applaud the entire board, management team, and staff of GCB Bank for hard work in attaining this feat. Honorable Minister, GCB Bank has remained a key facilitator of Ghana's international trade with dealings in letters of credit, financing medium term loans, forward contracts, export credit guarantee lines, among others. In 2022, the bank tripled its net trading income to 487 million Ghana cities from 157 million in 2021. In March 2023, GCB Bank successfully completed the first Pan-African Payment and Settlement System client transaction in Ghana, which involved a Ghanaian incorporated entity initiating a supplier payment from GCB in Ghana cities 
to a beneficiary in Nigeria who received the payment in Naira instantly. This innovation cements GCB's critical role in promoting trade with other African countries under the AFTA. GCB remains committed to providing innovative and efficient banking solutions to its customers, such as the e-wallet, e-payments, cashless banking to the market. In addition, the bank has set up a strong corporate social responsibility framework, providing support to various sectors of the economy such as education, health, and culture, which we saw in the documentary. Honorable Minister, it is evident that the Ghanaian economy is currently undergoing some adjustments, which calls for innovation and creativity in business conduct, especially in the banking sector. The domestic debt exchange program affected profitability and solvency of banks in 2022, but performance of banks during the first half of 2023 looks promising. The Bank of Ghana has also granted some temporary regulatory reliefs to, bank, to dampen the effect of the debt restructuring, and these, together with the expected operationalization of the Ghana Financial Stability Fund, should provide adequate support to the banking sector. Furthermore, banks whose capital levels have dropped below the 10% minimum due to the DDEP have been advised to provide capitalization plan for review by the Bank of Ghana. In this direction, I must congratulate the shareholders of GCB Bank on agreeing to allow the bank to raise additional capital of 1 billion Ghana cities to meet the regulatory capital requirements, to enhance the bank's deal-making capacity, and to take advantage of opportunities available to the bank while preserving the bank's core strength also to strengthen access to funding markets and bolster confidence in the banking industry, and also to support targeted and prioritized investment in digital transformation and ultimately help to drive the bank's strategy. Mr. Chairman, I believe GCB Bank will surmount all the emerging economic and financial challenges given the collaboration between the regulator on the one hand and the directors and shareholders of GCB Bank on the other hand. On this note, I extend my warm felicitations to the board, management, and staff of GCB Bank on your 70th anniversary celebration. I wish you all a joyous celebration. Thank you very much for your attention. A resounding round of applause for the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison speaking to us so eloquently through his first deputy, Dr. Maxwell Opoguafari. Please extend our warmest delight to him for all that he does and calls on us to do. A great story, they say, should change your view about the world, which is why it is my pleasure to give to you a poet, a storyteller, and an activist, Ghana's own, Rhyme Sonny. Ladies and gentlemen, Kwampa. They say to every story, there is a true story, the real story and the other story. We have the true story, you have the real story, and they have the other story. So why don't you listen to our side of the story, which is the true story, and you listening to the other story. You see, the other story can corrupt your real story and twat my true story. So please, let's blend the real story and the true story. For 70 years, GCB strength have thrived on rival solutions for Ghana's tribe and national pride, our financial guide. GCB Bank, your bank for life. And Rhyme Sonny, I am proud to say that this is your bank for life. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much.
The engineers of the future will be poets like Rhyme Sonny. Please appreciate him with a resounding round of applause. Wow, what a gesture, presenting these words to our host, the managing director, and our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Rhyme Sonny. From BI to AI. And here to have the last word on our great story of resilience, relevance, and trust is a man whose life and work is a true story of resilience to recovery. Please welcome the happiest man in the room, our great shareholder, Ghana's Minister for Finance, the Honorable Ken of Oriadza. Thank you very much indeed, and good morning. I think when Jerry talks about resilience, uh, of course we go to the Almighty God, and then we go to the Lindas of this world. <laughs> Linda, welcome. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much indeed. This is just um, truly a momentous occasion, and let me stand on the existing protocols, but also remember um, the two women managing directors of the bank, uh, Matilda and um, who was the second one? And Helen Loco. Yeah, both I had very good interactions with and we thank them for their service and all of the others. And of course, my colleague and friend, Simon, I think Simon is here today, um, representing our youth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so it is. I mean, 70 years is just a year of what? Completeness and perfection. And we cannot take that lightly. It is quite instructive when I see uh, Kofi on the podium and myself here, given the great names that have led this institution over time. It comes with a lot of humility to be standing here to celebrate this, and we thank God and for that. So from its inception in 53, as a bank of the Gold Coast, uh, GCB Bank has stayed true to its mission of becoming the leading bank in all our markets, offering first-class banking solutions for our customers and value for all stakeholders through unwavering dedication and commitment to Ghanaians from all demographic groups. GCP Bank has rightfully earned its place as Ghana's most welcoming bank and an indigenous bank with the requisite empathy that is required to serve our people. Through this remarkable 70-year journey, GCP Bank has constantly evolved and innovated to remain at the forefront of the banking industry. Notable milestones include its rebranding as GCB Bank in 2014 and becoming the first bank to be listed on the Ghana Stock Exchange in 1996, a move that unlocked new possibilities and created sustainable value uh, for stakeholders. GCB Bank success it's built on a strong service proposition that includes a robust asset base, competitive pricing, and extensive branch network, some 185 of them, and a deep understanding of the Ghanaian and private sector needs. This commitment to excellence is evident in the bank's over 30 tailor-made products and services, including GCB Capital Limited, providing bespoke fund management solutions, and G-Money, Ghana's first bank-led mobile money platform that has been driving financial inclusion. As we celebrate GCB's bank's accomplishments, let us not forget the numerous accolades it has received, as mentioned by the governor, including recognition as Ghana's safest bank by Moody's Fish and Standard & Poor as well as being honored as the most compliant bank in Africa by the Association for Certified Compliance Professionals in Africa. These distinctions highlight the bank's unwavering commitment to maintaining 
the highest standards of governance and compliance. So, as our own bank, let us continue to support it and talk positively into it. Ladies and gentlemen, while we rejoice in GCB's achievements, we must recognize that the world of banking is constantly evolving. To remain a leader in the industry, GCB Bank must continue to innovate and adapt to the digital age. Just as trailblazing institutions have embraced new technologies, GCB Bank must continue to invest heavily in technological infrastructure, focus on customer-centric digital solutions, and it has indeed also prioritized cybersecurity to maintain its competitive jets. And now AI. To this end, right on our shores, one of Wall Street's foremost companies has established a fintech company with 120 Ghanaians developing apps for their global operations here in Ghana. GCB must establish such an institution. I urge GCB to say true to its biblical mandate, which is a good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. GCB must remain protecting the wealth for generations to come, as in Proverbs 13.22. The bank's transformative impact on the everyday lives of Ghanaians cannot be understated, cannot be forgotten, and it must continue to be a partner, a facilitator, and an enabler in our quest for a prosperous future. As we mark this milestone, let GCB Bank draw inspiration from Isaiah 43:19, doing new things, creating opportunities for Ghanaian's growth and the stream in the desert. In the face of these difficult economic uncertainties that we face as a developing country and that will continue to face in this very globally challenging world. I therefore envision GCB becoming a tech-driven financial solutions provider, leveraging data analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning to offer personalized and seamless banking experiences to its customers. Right. And so doing, the bank can enhance customer satisfaction, increase operational efficiency, and drive business growth. Moreover, GCB's commitment to social responsibility is commendable. As we celebrate its 70th anniversary, let us recognize the bank's contribution to the various initiatives from supporting education institutions to funding charitable projects that uplift its community. The spirit of giving back is an essential part of nation building, and I encourage GCB to continue leading by example. As we move forward, I reaffirm our government's commitment to creating an enabling environment for the financial sector to thrive. We'll continue to implement policies that foster economic growth, financial stability, and inclusivity. It has been a challenging year, and I described it in the media review as a period in which we all have been bruised, we have been battered, and we have been broken. However, we stood firm, resolute, and resilient. And this is what GCB should continue to be. So clearly, it has been a very challenging year. What matters most, however, is that our respective institutions, and as we as government and GCB, were not deterred by our circumstances. Instead, we both used our difficult moments to put in place the foundations needed to build back better. For us in government, with our three-year standard credit facilities secured and difficult measures such as the domestic debt exchange program largely completed, we have now firmly, as I stated, turned the corner. And the numbers so far for 2023 do demonstrate that we are indeed on the right trajectory as we turn the corner. As Jerry said, 
we can see clearly now. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. For instance, overall first quarter growth for 2023 was 4.2%, up from 3% recorded for the same period in 2022. Inflation has somewhat softened from 54.1% to 42.5%. Moreover, interest rates have also declined. More encouragingly, this positive momentum is also experienced across the banking sector. According to PwC's latest banking sector report, first quarter 2023 banking industry profits after tax increased by 45.8%. As the governor has mentioned, the first half year has also been really good. Indeed, GCP's half-year financial statements also show that net profits for half-year 2023 were estimated at 333 million compared to 306 in first half 2022. Again, such a backdrop, it is evident that we have indeed turned the corner. With GCB as a strong partner, I'm confident that together we will overcome any challenges and seize new opportunities to build a prosperous and resilient Ghana for generations to come. Thank you, and once again, congratulations to the board, led by Mr. Jude Atta, management, Kofi Adomako, the hardworking staff, and our loyal customers and shareholders. God bless the bank. God bless our beloved nation. So today, we gather in honor of an institution that for the past seven decades has not only been an unwavering pillar of Ghana's financial sector, but also an integral part of our nation's development, an embodiment of resilience, relevance, and solid performance. Born, as we have heard in 53, as a bank of the Gold Coast, GTV has held steadfast to its mission of being the leading bank in all our markets, with a vision to provide first-class banking solutions for our customers and value for all stakeholders. Born with a dream of supporting Ghanaian traders, farmers, and business people, today this bank prides itself as Ghana's most welcoming bank, a bank that customizes for us Ghanaians. GCB has stood the test of time, constantly evolving and innovating. From its rebranding in 2013 from Ghana Commercial Bank to GCB Bank Limited, to its historic enlistment on the stock exchange, GCB has always had the sights on unlocking new possibilities and creating sustainable and true value for all stakeholders. Indeed, GCV Bank's 70-year journey has been characterized by what I'll call a spirit of growth, transformation, and that relentless pursuit of excellence. Its service proposition, anchored by a strong asset base, competitive pricing, an unmatched brand network, some 186, extensive ATM network, over 300, robots risk management systems, strong governance structures, and a fundamental understanding of our customers' needs has truly set GDP apart and approachable. The unrelenting pursuit of excellence is mirrored in its efforts to continually cater for the varied needs of its diverse clientele base with over 30 tailor-made products, as I have said. So, Over these 70 years, a truly Ghanaian enterprise has been built by the sweat of everyday Ghanaians. In celebrating this milestone, we acknowledge your systemic value to our economy. The contributions to the national development agenda is evident in every facet of our society. But first and foremost, let's talk about Sankofa. How do we go back to reclaim some of the things that we might have forgotten? First and most crucial step is to have our current board and management commit to resourcing GCB with the requisite tools to succeed. And here, after 
last year, of course, is the issue of um, capitalization. And we as a government are committed as a 20% shareholder of um, SNIT at 29%, making about 51% that we shall be there to ensure that the capitalization succeed. <laughs> then based on the strength, we can decide on the arenas and business models that the bank must focus on to deliver unparalleled customer service. Just as we created these past few years, CBG, Development Bank of Ghana, and the Ghana Commodities Exchange, we stand to ensure that the policy orientation of GCB will be true to the needs that we have as a country. So over the past few decades, a key legacy of the bank has been in its leadership in opening branches. I think it was 61 in Togo and maybe 59 in the UK. The Spanian role and spirit was further extended to provide the management capacity to peer banks in West Africa region. And as I was chairman of Trust Bank in the Gambia, GCB provided management services for that bank. We should go back to this to claim our position in West Africa. So let's revisit this past, build forward of a strategy anchored on reclaiming your right of place as a bank beyond the shores of this country. We are now more than ever called upon to do this. As Ghana now is the headquarters of the AFCFTA, we have a natural mandate to create institutions that will be continent-wide, and it is yours to do that, and we have to do that. With a pan-African presence, our businesses can then lead the charge to expand across the African continent so we can truly benefit from the AFCFTA and be the leading bank in all of our markets. As we launch then this platinum anniversary celebration, let us not only celebrate the bank's achievement, but also its commitment to further growth, to our society, and to the national development of Ghana. I am confident that GCB will continue to provide the leadership that our financial sector needs that Africa needs, constantly evolving to serve every facet of our nation's needs, to be that indigenous bank that is also globally relevant. So, happy 70th anniversary. 70 should not be understated. A year of perfection, seven perfection, 10 complete, a year of perfect perception, completion, wholeness, the real thing, boldness, courage to the board. And Jeremiah 29 says, 70 years are completed for Babylon. I will come to you, fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place of perfection and completion. May your resilience relevance and commitment to Ghana and Africa and its people persists as you continue to soar to greater heights as the eagle. Thank you. May God bless our nation. Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Ken Oforiata for delivering that splendid keynote address on 70 years of providing unrivaled financial solutions towards socio-economic development of Ghana, our wonderful story of re re resilience, relevance, and most importantly, delivering exceptional performance for all our stakeholders. Please, one more time, a round of applause. We thank you for those warm words of commendation the admonitions, but most importantly, the steps you've outlined that collectively, we all as stakeholders must take to ensure the sustainability and viability of this great national and continental asset. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from the writer king who sips communion with the gods, Nana Sasi. <laughs> Thank you. 
in labor she does not rejoice but after she has delivered then she calls for celebration most importantly I was told when you enter an elder's house you greet I salute you all my elders 
to every man and woman they are due. I am simply a child still learning the ropes of the world and the ways of my people. I dare not begin to name names or call titles, lest I miss one and be made to pay a fine. And so please, wherever you are seated, in whichever language you understand best, your seat was intended for you. Akwaba. It is on an urgent matter that makes kings and queens like you abandon your serious businesses to sit, but indeed it is a good matter. I, a child, obviously from my looks, have been saddled and burdened with a matter older than me in years, bigger than me in stature. I wonder how my mouth is about to utter this story. And so, let me take it off from where my elder who taught no beard started. We say the beard is the broom with which our elders gather wisdom. Our elders raise their beards in the loo to lose the pigment of youth. And then when you meet an elder who taught no beard, he might have picked all of life's experiences. Ask him. And so when a child has completed 10, we say he has completed a cycle of life. And so today, GCB Bank, one phantom from for each step of 10. And so, we have been one traveler on a long journey, different faces, children of one womb. We have indeed come through the rains, come through sunshine. We have seen the highs and the lows. Yet we stand strong and resilient. Ago, 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 do you know why we choose to be black? Black because we are proud. Black because you do not forget the night without which there is no day. Night is the back without which there is no front like our elders without whom there are no G's like us. The back without which there is no history on which to premise this future. Take off and hand the baton safely to the generations yet to enter the thoughts of time. This is a story of all of us. It outlived us. It came to meet us long before we are gone and after. The story will continue. And so, we know no culture but that which is Ghanaian. And so, you realize that in our multifacetedness, we are strong. It is in our uniquenesses as a people that Ghana continues to thrive. And so, same love vein has seen us go like that serpent throughout the years, but our eyes have been sharp. We are able to break mid-air, change direction, because we are only the ego. And so agility should have been given to us instead of being attributed to the monkey. Ago. Ago. Ago, Fiha. They say my words are heavy. But indeed, when a child has done that turn of ten, you see, him why you do. What do. Be be born who one to draw. And so, yen ye dear no. But when a man has said 70, when he had your song, he has indeed reached the stage where he has been bent like the sphinx, scattered like ash all over that everybody has benefit of him. This comes from the mathematical proverbiality of my elders. Now, Ghana has been faced with a lot of fissiparous tendencies militating against our economic advancement. I did not come to name statistics, my people. I'm simply a poet. I'm simply a storyteller who is not moved by traveling. For indeed, I have seen many things that will not show on this my face, and I will see many more after we have left here. You see, the seat on which you sit has simply seen a cyclical motion. Tomorrow, you will not be here. You might long be out of this room and counted as excess. But when a man has made his marks in life, let those who come after him begin to count his steps. And so how did we get here? We have learned to celebrate our heroes while they yet live. And so, to the founding fathers, we invoke you to a rousing Ayiku, to those who are presently holding the yoke, where you are adorn, you, are the ones we can point our hands to. Which one we point at you is dependent on what you leave us. At 60, they might expect a man to go on retirement, but at that point, we started showing signs of youthful exuberance. And so 70 is simply a place for sober reflection. On your marks, get set. We 
are just about to take off on another cycle of crossing the seven streams of life. We have seen it all. That was a good place to put your hands together for us. We are the black on which Ghana's culture is. We. If we were a Dinkra in the banking space, we'd be a Dinkra Hine. The chief of them all. Mother of them all. In the beginning, God created mother. God created woman. God created the womb out of which everything came. When all our lives are spent, we are consumed back into mother. That is Ghana's comprehensive bank. They say Africa's most welcoming bank. It's simply evident of who we are as a people, as Ghanaians. We speak so many languages. I could begin to speak six and confuse you at once, but one will suffice for this purpose so that everybody understands. Before I leave you, I say that change is the only dynamic constant. Let me take that again. Change is the only dynamic constant. And so, we have seen change. We are about to change. And let me tell you, the next time you think of looking for a lot of money, come to us. But even greater so, in our vault we have fantastic ideas and innovations that are tailored to meet every single Ghanaian. So we say nobody is too big or too small to benefit from our services. Agu, Agu, Agu. Do not clap. If you write, have your right hand, beat your chest. For you are a proud Ghanaian and a proud contributor to what we see today. Or Mama And the writer king who saves communion wine from the calabash. I am proud to beat my chest because I am Ghanaian. Ghana will be my land for life. GCB, our bank for life. And then our daily lives will be that collective that pours water into this big basin to ensure that the Ghana beyond aid we seek to achieve is possible. That AFC, FTA is here to stay and is not going anywhere. There is a divine reason why we sit at the crossroads of dreams, the center of the world, this place where the creator cooks his food and sends to the rest of the world. And so, thank you. 70 years young, congratulations. Muni ejuma suno, o suno kukuruko, nanso anuma kodia utua ninsemu mojebum, lift 40 pounds from the sky, straight and back up, and so what can we not carry? Nisube ye boarding, e bibrim den chemboa, e dine pae o suno apampem, Ghana Commercial Bank, mujai me han, ne me urus tanza, nko ambe ye dun son, na me nsha asye. And as I say, o mama kwenye je biwa fa se. Obisi manuate, obisi mi empenisem, nan sume niti ya, abu frana me die, you are the ones who are eloquent in the language of money and you choose to call it by the botanical name. Ago. Ago. Ago fiha. When you clap, it is for yourselves. But mind you, the road ahead is longer than the one we have left behind. And so I leave you with a simple question. Where do we go from here? Picking up from that mathematical proverbiality of my elders. Makra, I ask you, where do we go from here? That is a question that only you and your fellows can answer. I have a safe place to hide. And I believe it is so for all our young Ghanaians, knowing that able leaders are in the forefront. The burdens of a great vision weigh the shoulders of the mind. Where do we go from here? We are only hailing seven mighty fire stones. He who is to show us what comes next comes after me. Makra, it is Swamu. Have I spoken well? Have I spoken well? Have I spoken well? One for each junction.
do we go from here? Nanasa say, Omama Jedi Wafa say. And so we go on a journey, one from the heart and soul, one that consolidates on all the gains we've made. This morning, it has fallen to you, our guest of honor, the Minister for Finance, in the company of the first Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, our board chair, the managing director, together with our past managing directors, and our revered traditional rulers to officially unveil our future. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause as they come. Your Royal Majesties, the Abula Man Chair, together with Nanakrobia Asante, It has fallen to you, the Minister for Finance of the Republic, the Honorable Ken Oforiata, to officially declare the 75th anniversary of this great national asset, GCB Bank, officially launched and to unveil the logo. So we now, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, officially launch the 70th year of perfection and completion. Amen. Amen. It now falls to you, the managing director, to officially open the vault as we unveil the 70th anniversary logo. And then the wheel. And the wheel. The wheel. Yeah, so pull it. No, 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 no. And so it's opening. Let's count from seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Eagles voices. And this is how we celebrate a great national treasure. Thank you. 
Eagle voices, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for them. Although this would have come at the end, you chose to do it now. A big punishment for all my young people on stage. Shame on you. I shall now invite all our former board members to please join. Now that we have the full complement of our former MDs, all our former board members, please join. Kwampa, let's have some music right about now. All our former board members, respectfully, I invite you to join. GCB Bank. Ye wo bi bio. Aye. E bi bi maye. Ye wo bi bio. Aye. Gana fwe. Ye wo bi bio. Aye, aye, aye. Oh my Gana, ye wo bi bio. Aye. I want us to take this part again. Ye wo bi bi ampa. Ye wo bi bio ai E bi bi maye ye wo bi bio ai Gana fwe ye wo bi bio ai 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 Oh my Gana ye wo bi bio ai Taking leave of us now, our traditional rulers and our past board members and past MDs. A round of applause as they take their seats. Thank you very much, your majesties. Thank you very much. 
our past board members and our past managing directors. Please, let's appreciate them. I shall now invite our current board members. Our current board members. A round of applause for the current board. Please, let's appreciate the current board. Thank you very much, current board members. I shall now invite Exco, Executive Management. Executive management of the bank. Thank you very much, Esco. And finally, all managing directors of banks, all bank MD CEOs, executive directors, please. Thank you very much, colleague Bank MDs. And the final one, all members of our security services. We couldn't have done this without you. Please, a round of applause for them. Yeah, 
Thank you very much. Our security services. Bumper, bring it down. A message, message reaching me that, Jerry, if you want your taxes in order, please make sure that the Commissioner General also joins the picture. <laughs> Commissioner General, respectfully, I invite you, together with all our partners, SEC, Gibbs, Ghana Stock Exchange, please, let's welcome them warmly with a round of applause. Bank of Ghana. I've been told that our very good neighbors, the courts, are here. Respectfully, I invite all justices of the Superior Court. I don't want to incur your wrath. Please, you can join us. Thank you very much, our partners. My lords, my ladies, respectfully, I invite you. And finally, brethren, the official deputy managing director of GCB Bank, Mrs. Linda Adomako. Party. Saying thank you on behalf of the bank and all her partners, would you please make welcome the area manager Sunyane, Madame Gloria Mensa Atakura. marvelous in our sight. For this, and for the mercy and the grace of God that has brought us thus far, we say thank you, Lord. 
I stand on existing protocols. Honorable Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of GCB Bank PLC, I stand before you today to extend a heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us to commemorate our grand 70th anniversary. This momentous occasion would not have been possible without the unwavering support of our esteemed clients, dedicated leaders, employees, partners, and our distinguished guests. We particularly commend the Finance Minister, Honorable Ken Ofori Atta, and the first Deputy Governor of Bank of Ghana, Dr. Maxwell Opoku Afari, and indeed, all our special guests for taking time off your busy schedules to celebrate this special day with us. It is undoubtedly a privilege to have you grace the launch of this jubilee with your presence. We take immense pride in reaching this remarkable milestone, and it is a testament to the collective efforts and commitment of everyone associated with our brand. Over the past seven decades, we have grown from strength to strength, adapting to evolving market dynamics and embracing innovation. The history of GCB will not be complete without applauding the exemplary leadership of the board and management of the bank. Posterity will surely treat you kindly for your continuous investments in making GCB resilient and profitable, notwithstanding challenges confronting the global and local economy, particularly the banking sector. To our dedicated staff, words alone cannot express how grateful the bank is for your loyalty and general contributions towards transforming its fortunes. We salute you and we are also proud of your support over the years. Your individual and collective efforts have in no small way contributed to transitioning the bank into dominance. Let us keep our eyes on the crystal ball. We acknowledge in a very special way the role ex-staff of the bank have played in the success story of GCB. To our loyal customers, we appreciate you for placing your trust in our products and services and our brand. Your continued patronage <coughs> motivates us to strive for excellence and deliver unmatched quality. We also extend our thanks to our business partners, our shareholders and stakeholders whose collaboration and support have been instrumental in propelling us towards achieving our goals. A special word of thanks goes to our founders, our past board members and management, whose vision and foresight laid the foundation for GCB's success. We thank all the organizers and volunteers who worked tirelessly to make this event a resounding success. Your dedication and attention to detail have brought this celebration truly memorable. And we wish to state that this celebration is throughout the year and beyond. And we have these activities lined up as part of our 70th anniversary celebration. We have thought leadership programs health screening, golf tournaments, campus activations, health work, dinner dance and award ceremony, and Thanksgiving service to crown it all. Honorable Minister, 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you all for being a part of this remarkable celebration. Here is to another 70 years, 70 years of success, innovation, and soaring to dominance. GCB. 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 Thank you. One more time, a round of applause. Madame Gloria Mensa Takura, area manager Sunyane. And so all is set for us to bring this experience to a close. After the end of the event, we shall usher you in batches. Please be patient, because what you're going to see is mind-blowing. We're going to give you the vault experience. I don't know what it is, but please, just be patient. As we bring this celebration to a close, we're minded of three short lessons. The first lesson is, this is the most successful public-private partnership in Ghana's history. It also tells us one thing, that we can build African champions and centers of excellence in Ghana and Africa. But the last lesson is this, that we can create the future that we all want with GCB as our bank for life because it has the right financial muscle, it has the right capitalization and solvency, staff strength, the required branch network to access everyone and deepen financial inclusion. My name is Jerry Ajololo, and if we should meet again, it should be to count the success and the dividends that have accrued from this grand celebration. Here to invoke the blessings of God Almighty on our great enterprise today is one of our very own. With warmth in your heart, let's receive Lieutenant Kennel Umaru Sanda Ahmed, retired. Mr. Ajololo, that he said a Lieutenant Colonel, and that's not enough. I was actually the Chief Imam of the Ghana Armed Forces. For today, we shall blame it on COVID, Russia, Ukraine. <laughs> oh no, I thought you would rather blame Niger. <laughs> I am here to do a very simple duty which is a closing prayer. But before I do, let me preface my prayer this way. From the turbulent streets of Cairo during the Arab Spring to the sepity and sanctity of the high street in Accra, walked a proud Ghanaian, leaving the shores of the land of the pyramids and taking control of a Ghanaian bank. Today, the story is very clear. Mr. Kofi Adumako, thank you for your leadership. I am saying this because I was with him in Cairo when he was with the African Exim Bank. And I know the sacrifice he made by leaving that job and coming home to serve Mother Ghana. For me, that is patriotism at its apex. And I want to believe that the leadership you have offered is a shining example of what it means to say, I am proud to be a Ghanaian. And now to my prayer. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Allah, we are here to thank you for 70 years of our existence as a bank. Through this period of uncertainty and challenges, through the period of crisis you have been with us, Ghana Commercial Bank has 
gotten better and bolder. My prayer at this juncture is that as we inch forward, tell us 100 years of our existence. May Allah imbue in the leadership of the commercial bank a greater sense of purpose, a tenacity of purpose, and the mind to steer the only bank, the only bank to the greater success and glory of this country. Allahumma rabbana iyyaka na'abdu wa iyyaka nasta'in. Allahumma rabbana iyyaka na'abdu wa iyyaka nasta'in. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المكذوب عليهم ولا الضالين and if i were to add i will say today is the day that we should be singing a beniza nyame nadum araqa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh lieutenant colonel umaru sanda ahmed retired former Chief Imam of the Ghana Armed Forces. Yours has been a job well done, and we say thank you. To this end, with faith in ourselves and in God and in this great brand, we shall all rise and sing, God bless our homeland Ghana, and make her great and strong. God bless the banking sector and may God bless our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. I thought you were clap. Please be seated briefly. Humbly, I invite you, the Honorable Minister for Finance, together with our board chair, together with our managing director, all the members of the board, past and present, together with our partners from GRA, Gibbs, together with SNIT and SEC to please join, together with uh, one last one, all captains of the banks, all CEOs and MDs of the bank. We can take 30 at a time. And so this is the first set which will go and take the tour. We shall all be led in sections. Respectfully, I invite you, the official party. Protocol, ushers, please. And while they are that, and while they are that, ladies and gentlemen, we shall show you a video of the vault experience to which you shall be led in sections to view, and thereafter we shall make our way to lunch. Let's have the video. For the very first time, Ghana's oldest and biggest indigenous bank, GCB, is opening its vaults. We are opening up our world to all Ghanaians to experience it through three main pillars. The story of Ghana, which brings to life the history of our trade, our currencies, our leaders, and how through it all, Ghanaians have always rallied around the red, gold, and green. The story of GCB. Since our inception in 1953, we have been here and seen and done it all. 
We have served different generations of Ghanaians for the last 70 years and we plan to continue our commitment to providing quality service with unrivaled resolve to move with the times. The Evolution of Lifestyle For the last 70 years, Ghanaians have experienced different cultural changes. We have adapted these changes and moved with the trends of the time. The Lifestyle Pillar narrates these changes and cultural hues and cues. Welcome to our world. This is us and we are just getting started.